How do we work with date time? How do we work with times and dates in Elixir? And what makes a date time naive? Hey, what's up? It's marketalchemist.camp where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today we're digging into one of the thornier topics in web development in general, which is dates and times. They're wildly inconsistent and this is one of the areas where it's really great to have third party tooling to help you out. So uh, we're going to go over time structs, date structs, date time structs, and then naive date time structs. So first we'll look at time. Time structs will have a sigil capital T and then a number of hours. So say it's 9 a.m. and then we'll give it 23 minutes and 70, oh, we can't do 70, 31 seconds. And then we can also have microseconds after a dot. So we'll say this is one microsecond after that time. All right, now we've got a time struct, we can access individual parts of it. So we can do time.hour, see it's nine hours, time.minute, time.second, and finally time.microsecond. Now microsecond, notice it's a tuple with two elements in it. One is a one, the other is a six. Let's put in another time and see if we can figure out what is going on with that. Now we'll see 205,000, which is the number of microseconds, and then four. This four is the significance. So this means we care about four digits of significance. If we had specified it this way, it would be the same number of microseconds after the second, but it would be uh, one less significant digit. So that's times in a nutshell, and you generally shouldn't be creating them like we did here. You can just create a time like so. We can say now equals time dot UTC now, and that will generate the time. All right, dates are fairly similar looking. So uh, we'll say date is capital D sigil, and here it's the same format that you, or it's a similar, same order as what you'd see from an ISO standard date. So we'll have uh, a, a year first, so 2021, then the months, and then the day. And then we can just do that. And we have a date. And for date, we also have similar kinds of functions to get the month to get the year, and you can just put a dot and autocomplete, see what your options are. Uh, calendars are, this would be like a Gregorian calendar or you know another calendar you might use to replace it with. Next, let's skip date time and go straight to naive date time. A naive date time is uh, with an N sigil, so it'll be capital N, and a naive date time will basically have the same stuff. Actually, let's let's create this with UTC now. So naive date time dot UTC now. And you can see the struct basically looks like an amalgamation of the date struct and the time struct with a space separated. And we can access all the same parts that we could before. So we can get the microseconds, we can get the month, whatever we need. Um, and, oh, and also the time zone is a good thing to point out. There is no time zone in a naive date time. That's basically what makes it naive. There's no time zone associated with it. And usually most, uh, most of the time we'll be working with naive date times. So we just don't worry about the time zone at all and assume everything is UTC now. Now there's also a date time in Elixir and date time does not have a dedicated sigil. Uh, the capital D is just date. So naive date time uh, has a UTC now function and so does time and so does date time actually. So we can do date time equals date time dot UTC now. Date time does have a time zone. You can see the Z at the end here. And our date times time zone is UTC and we actually don't have any other options. There's, uh, it's not possible to set a different time zone uh, out of the box. So what we need to do is 
we need to go to our docs for date time and you can see that uh, tz data and tz are external time zone databases we can install and actually tz data was the it used to be included and it's just been extracted out so we're going to install that so we can use another date time to install this database we need to go to mix first so we'll mix it's called tz data and it's uh, version 1.1 at least as of now so we need to get that mix depths dot get and then to use it uh, we can either specify the uh, the time uh, the date time like so calendar dot put time zone database and then we can pass the calendar in as uh, an optional third parameter in our, our date times. However, there's uh, there's really an easier way. We can just do a global config, which is also mentioned up here in the docs. Mix projects don't have a config directory by default anymore. So if we want that, we need to create a new one. So this will be config slash config dot exs and We'll add that configuration item, and then since it's a config file, we also have to use mix.config. We'll save that and start up our project again. Once it's compiled and started up, we can still get our date time with UTC now, or we can use a function called now and pass in the time zone we want. Uh, so in this case, we'll get America slash Los Angeles. I don't believe San Francisco is an option. You can see right now in Los Angeles, it is 5.17 p.m. And we'll try Sao Paulo. Both North America, North America and South America are just under America. And there we go. And... Asia, Taipei. And like with many functions, if we don't want the OK tuple, there is a bang version of it that just gives you the date time directly. And one other useful function that all of these modules have is diff. So there's a time.diff, there's a date.diff, there's a date time.diff. And we can just see how long it's been, say, since I record this date time. And right now, with date time, dot diff and pass in the first actually doesn't really matter what the order is but I want a positive number so we'll say uh, date time dot UTC now and it it's intelligent enough to uh, do the calculations around time zones which is the whole point of a time zone library and you see it's been 248 seconds 251 seconds and you get the idea so Hope you found that useful. Definitely check out the date time docs. And if you need time zones, I recommend TZ Data. And uh, yeah, see you next time.